you know, I'm, I'm, I'm always kind of fascinated with, you know, technology in general. And we had kind of talked a little bit beforehand, but do you think there's ever going to be a time? Cause you know, I, I think we forget that humans are adaptable at the same mm -hmm. time. Do you think there's ever going to be a point where we will kind of evolve to the point where or evolve with our technology? Because I feel like to a certain extent, you know, we're still kind of um, a bit of the same kind of uh, people that, you know, maybe our grandparents were. And this technological boom happened within like the 90s all the way till now. You know, I just remember, you know, having a, I don't, I, you know, I remember not even having a computer. You know, my dad was walking around with a pager, you know, all this kind of stuff. And, you know, do you think there's ever going to be a time where we kind of evolve with it or are we just going to get so far with technology that we won't be able to um, evolve with it? I think that we are actually building technology in our own image. Uh, I, th I think the internet is probably the, the best, most robust representation of the law of attraction, which, which governs us as beings. Um, I think that uh, we are so connected telepathically to each other that we're constantly i mean what are we doing right now like we're 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 talking we're translating vibration into into information i mean i'm creating sounds that you are receiving inside your brain and then translating it into things that you you know into concepts that you understand i mean that's an incredible uh, ability right we are translators we're translating constantly we're getting so much information through our senses through our eyes through our ears through our, our sense of touch but those are just the basic senses you know have you ever uh looked at your phone and known that someone was about to call you or your phone rings and before you look at the, uh, who it is, you know exactly who it is. You wake up in the morning and uh, you have an, you feel like, oh, I should call, uh, you know, so-and-so. And then you call them and either they were just thinking about you or they really needed to talk to you. I mean, we are communicating with each other constantly in ways that we don't even perceive, right? And the world is communicating with us in ways that we are aware of and in ways that we are not aware of as well. So this communication is two-way, it's constant, it's, it's happening at all times. I mean, we have phrases like, when it rains, it pours. Why? Because when I fall into a negative mindset, everything around me that perpetuates those same negative thoughts are going to find me. That means the people that make me feel bad like that are going to call me or find their way to me. That means if there is an accident that's going to feel that way, it's going to find me, right? So the opposite is true. If I wake up, I'm on top of the world, I feel really great. Experiences, people, circumstances that make me feel great like that are going to find me. Why? This is the law of attraction. This is how the universe organizes itself, right? This is this is um, this is the most powerful kind of tool that we have at our disposal to kind of create anything that we want in our lives, right? We are creating that in our technology we are basically modeling our technology after us will we ever out um will our uh, what was the question will the out technology ever outgrow us i don't think so because i don't think that we have even tapped into one percent of one percent of what the human is and what the human is capable of doing i mean all of the like um the non-obvious senses you know the the telepathy type stuff right uh translating sounds that are not so obvious uh you you might hear non-physical beings or see them or whatever it is right all of those senses are right now a bit underdeveloped but there's more and more people with those abilities coming up right uh I don't think we even know 
what the human is capable of when we start consciously, consciously and deliberately looking into and developing those abilities and, and, and just working with those within ourselves. Um, I don't know. I don't know. And I think our technology will always reflect those expansions. Wow. I'm not going to lie to you, uh, Ellie. I think you blew my mind a lot <laughs> with that. I, I kind of, uh, I got to need a second here. Uh, that, uh, you know, it, it's fascinating, right? Because I've always, I've always had a very pessimistic view on technology. You know, I didn't own a smartphone until 20, uh, 2019. Um, I was very against it. I really didn't want one. Then, you know, they ended up um, upselling me one. I was like, crap, it's cheaper than a <laughs> phone. So, you know, it, it ended up just going there. But that is a, a fascinating point, too, because, you know, what we kind of, you know, you kind of talked about this, which is kind of like the self-fulfilling prophecy, right? Like sometimes when you're, you know, when you're super uh, down about things and you're like, oh, I'll never be able to do this. Well, then you just never do it because yeah. it's self-fulfilling prophecy. And, and then you attract people who will tell you you will never do it. <laughs> yeah, exactly. And, you know, that, that's always a, an interesting yeah. thing. So, you know, once if you Don't can kind of catch it. it, yeah, if you can always catch yourself in that before you go down that kind of loop, we call it um, going down the well or, or lo sorry, looking down the well. You never look down the well. And so um, in my in my friend group. Uh, but hey, guys, thanks for watching Mental Health Casual. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe for more videos.